Hey Stampers, Jackie Ball High from Compton Stampers. Are you as ready for summer as I am? It has been one long cold winter here in Michigan. So today, I'm all about summer. The card I have screams summer. I hope you like it. It's quick and easy like everything I do. And we're using a fun stamp set that I haven't used yet. I think you're gonna like it. Now, before I flip the camera down, don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. I love to hear from you guys and that's what helps me be able to come to you three times a week with fun, quick and easy cards. So with that said, one more thing. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be that person. Let me know if you need a catalog. You can hop right on over to my blog and request one. I'd be happy to send you a free catalog. And I'm here to answer all your questions. I'm the queen of simple stamping, guys. I will help you learn to make quick and easy cards that aren't boring. So with that, let's get stamping today. I'm a little bit giddy about today's card. I had so much fun making it probably because the beach is one of my happy places. I love going to the beach and it reminds me of summer and I'm a summer kind of gal. Now, this stamp set is really a fun one. It's in the occasions catalog. It's called Beach Happy and this is what I like to call a parts and pieces stamp set. There's a ton of pieces that work together. It's also called a two-step stamping because all the coloring gets done for us. And I love how it's just big and bold. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how I put all these parts and pieces together. And along the way, I'll give you a few different, I guess, almost general stamping tips um, would probably be the best way to say it that'll help you not only if you wanna make this card, but if you wanna do other ones. So, as you can see from my stamp here, it is a photopolymer stamp, clear stamp. Um, we call them photopolymer. Now, when you use the photopolymer, because they don't have the cushion that your red rubber ones do, you really need something underneath your surface to get the best stamped image. The Stampin' Up! piercing pad, as we call it, which is kind of silly because we don't even do piercing stuff anymore, but it's still called that, is perfect. And then I like to buy the grid paper that is actually made for the Stamparatus because it fits on here perfect. So when I use photopolymer, this is kind of my setup here. And then with larger stamps like this, I like to actually take my ink pad, in this case it's the Memento Black, and I like to ink upside down. I feel I can get a better coverage and I can make sure that it gets inked up really good. So that's just kind of always been my thing, I guess. And then we're gonna go ahead, and this one was kind of like, well, how do we, angle this, I kind of went for putting the umbrella pole somewhat straight up. And we're just gonna come over here about right there. Doesn't matter if it runs off my cardstock. Um, I should tell you this piece of Whisper White that I'm stamping on is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it's a square and you're gonna get some fun tips later on in the video about making square cards. So don't run away too fast until we get to that tip. Now, like I said, the coloring is gonna be done for us. So I have all of these stamps just mounted already, but the coloring part is a separate stamp. So we'll use Poppy Parade for our beach chair. And it's, you can see through there so you can line it up. You know, this is why this has to be a photopolymer. And we'll see how good I do without having my head, ooh, pretty good, straight over. Cause usually without the camera, I got, you know, the head's like right on top of it. Then let's see, put Poppy Parade away. Let's grab our Bermuda Bay. I thought well, that's quite appropriate for our little beach scene here. And then here is the part that colors in our umbrella. So we'll line that one up and bam, there's our umbrella. Now let's go ahead and put some palm trees. Now for this one, we're using Granny Apple Green. And you know, I played around with these stamps a little bit to kind of figure out the best order to create a beach scene with them. And I decided with the palm tree, I was best to put the palm part first. Okay, so we'll stamp that because we know that our palm tree, we'll grab that stamp here, we want, you know, the top of the, of the trunk, couldn't think of the word there, to be right up there. But what's really cool about this, because it's photopolymer and it's so skinny, I can actually take my stamp and I can bend it however I want. So I want this one kind of bending off. Did I do that? Everything seems backwards. There we go. Bending off that way a little bit. Actually, let's put even more of a bend. You can shape these however you want. And then we're gonna take soft suede and we'll ink that up. And then we'll come and we'll stamp our palm tree, right like so. 
And then I wanted to do another one and I wanted to bend the palm tree different. So I'm gonna clean this off, okay? Using my chamois, love my chamois, you guys. This is the best way to clean. Haven't talked about these in a while. Um, it looks dirty, but actually I just cleaned this one. You run it under hot water and squeeze and you know run water and squeeze and water and squeeze until what's running off of it is clear. And then you know it's clean. And I just keep mine in a stamp case, keeps it moist. Um, if it dries out or when it gets dirty, I just go back up to the sink. So we're clean. Now this one, I want it to actually bend the other way. So we'll just kind of move it around on there a little bit how we want it. And then we'll go back to our soft suede here. We'll put that one about right there. Because the second tree, I was kind of worried a little bit more about the way the trunk goes, where the first one, I was worried more about where the leaves go. So that's why I'm doing them in, in different order. So this one, I didn't mind if it runs off the cardstock. So there we go. Now, let's use a couple other of the parts and pieces, like I like to call them. I thought this little beach bag was so stinking adorable. Um, and then the inside of it, to color it in, we'll use Mango Melody. We'll fill that one in, like so. And I think that's all I put on the front of my card. So let's go ahead and look at the finished card here. I just layered it up a little bit with some Poppy Parade Bermuda Bay. Now don't worry about remembering the sizes of everything because I will have a link in the description of the video that will send you over to the blog that will give you all the information you need. I'll list all the products I used. But if you notice, my card is square here. Now in the past, people are always kind of afraid to make square cards. They're fun, I love to look at them, but it's hard to find envelopes for them. And also if you do find envelopes, it usually requires additional postage because it's not a standard size. So what I've done is this was actually, here, let me just grab a card here. If you notice, this is really the size of a regular card chopped off. So the card itself is four and a quarter wide. So when I cut this piece, it's eight and a half by four and a quarter, gives me four and a quarter square. Now here's the magical part. You can mail these in a regular envelope because it's, you know, the right size that way. So if you stick that in a regular envelope, okay, close it up, pop it in the mail, there's no additional postage and you get the fun of doing a square card. What do you think of that? Greetings, there's just some fun greetings in the stamp set. I like the don't worry, beach happy. And then on the inside, I put a couple more of the images, wishing you sunny days. And there we go. And yes, no naked envelopes, guys. Stamp my envelope. So there you go. Quick and easy card. It's really a sip card, stamps, ink, and paper. That's all, well, nope, I lied, because we did use a couple of circle punches here. Um, but other than that, pretty simple card. These stamps are fun, they're bold, they're bright. I'm ready for summer, how about you guys? As always, if you have any questions, make sure to get a hold of me. You can message me through the website or email me um, if you have any questions. If you need a Stampin' Up! catalog, I'd be happy to send it to you. And most importantly, if you guys are looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be that person. Make sure you get a hold of me and let me know. Let me add you to my email list and keep you informed of everything happening with Stampin' Up! So until I stamp with you again, stay warm, hit the beach, and have a stamp happy day.